Russell here of RWA Fishing. Well, we got a cold one this morning. <laughs> it's 29 degrees as I pulled into the park. It's overcast and it's windy. <laughs> so as long as that sun is behind the clouds, we won't even get any radiant heat from the sun. So it's gonna be chilly. Now, I don't have as much time today as I usually do. So I'm gonna go straight to what's been working and hope that keeps working. <laughs> well folks, let's see how it goes. Let's start by sending up this Ned. Just in case there's anything hanging around that's willing. Now the mic is picking up the background noise from the uh, dam beside the waterfall here. So you're hearing the rushing water pretty good. Right already. First case. Did you get it? Hey folks, Mag on the first cast. <laughs> the first cast, folks. How about that? The very first cast. Look at that folks, the very first cast, how about that? It's Russell's cold. <laughs> All right. He's about a he's about a pound or two. Got him on the neck. See how he's got a hook came out? Good thing I kept the tension on him. First cast bass in this freezing cold water. Alright. So the net is the net bite is still working for me. Get my glove off to the picture of this one. First cast. All right, first cast bass. Thanks for showing up. Hey, let's try the little paddle tail, three and a half inch GT 360. Leaning toward the spinning gear because of all the wind. fishing the windblown side. They say that's the best side in the wind. It's also the most difficult side to fish.
try. one on the list. Pounder. He's about a two pounder. Get a picture of this one. But this gill is out of is out of place. But he wouldn't hook that deep. I think that's previous damage. Not bleeding or anything. Can you see in there? Let's see if I can see if I can get a shot in there. It didn't hook him in there. That must be previous damage. Let's get a shot on get him back in the water. Still lively, that's good. He's about a two pounder for sure. Nice. Let's get him back in the water. Let's see how he swims off. Get a pretty good idea. If he's injured or not. Let's see if I can do that without falling in himself. No, he's fine. It's fine. Cool. Well, folks, that's all I got time for today. I have to get going. 
<laughs> well, we got three today. Now, how about that Ned rig bite on the first cast? Isn't that something? <laughs> and we got a decent sized one on the lipless, too, using the uh, yo yoing uh, retrieve method. But, folks, like I said, I gotta get going. That's all I got time for. But before I leave, I have to thank you for watching RWA Fishing and a reminder to hit that subscribe button, follow it up by the bell notification. And folks, for coming out here in this cold wind <laughs> and managing to catch three in a short amount of time, a thumbs up will be greatly appreciated. <laughs> well, folks, as always, thanks for watching our WA Fishing, and God bless you. I am out of here. <laughs>60 GT search bait, the three and a half inch. If you may remember in one of my videos, I caught, I think it was a five pound, seven ouncer on a three and a half inch 360 GT search bait. And to go with that, you got the rattling heads to go with that. Pop those in there and you got yourself a lethal combination. Here we have the Guggen drag and drop. Because the drop shot is a rig that I also like during this time of year. And to go with that, we have some snaps, spin snap, excuse me, spin shot wide gap hooks for rigging up your drop shot. And these you just tie to your main line and then you lead it down to, of course, your drop shot sinker. And being that these are tungsten, because a lot of the places are going lead free. So we're going to do that. And what also works well, this time of year and pretty much all times of year, these last two baits, the Booyah Melee. I've caught a good number of fish on these. And we got a War Eagle. Very popular uh, spinner bait. And we got Tandem Willow Leaf Blades. So, you should be all set. Now, along with those prizes, I'm going to kick in this Red Eye Shad Lipless Crankbait. That will sweeten the deal for sure. Okay, folks. Let's pick us a winner. Alright, folks. Here's a video we're going to pick the uh, comments from. First, we're going to have to copy this. Well, let's stop that there. And go over to the random picker. Now, we're going to paste it in here. All right. And we'll filter out all the duplicate comments. And we're going to pick the YouTube comments. Now, folks, for all who were able to enter into the drawing, we're going to do like uh, Driscoll Darling told Sheriff Taylor one day on the Anna Griffin show. Just jump in and hang on. All right, we got 53 unique commenters. So you got a 1 in 53 chance of winning. <laughs> okay. Start raffle and pick random winner. Let's see. Fishy Angler, <laughs> hey, now he's a good supporter, I, I, yeah, I really like his channel, 
Well, congratulations, Fishy Angler. You are the winner. You jumped in and you hung on. Well, uh, let's see. I'll be letting you know and um, send me your contact information, and I will get that prize package out to you. And folks, for all who didn't win, there will be other drawings. And folks, as always, thank you so much for watching our WA Fishing, and God bless you.